the Rap Round Table. Yes, sir. I'm trying to do my best job impression here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to episode 74 of the illustrious, the most dangerous, mm-hmm. the most controversial, That's so. the most bitten off. I think so. Number one hip hop podcast in NYC. Talk about it. New York fucking city. Yeah. The rap round table. This your man Sincere the Rap Snob here. Along with Dini, the may balance. The force, may the force be with you. And the chef. Yes, sir. <laughs> and Mesito, the voice of the young people. And the industry. And oddly missing, as y'all can see, is Jaw the Point Guard. The PG. So Shit. it's up to me now. I'm going to have to drive the ship. You know what I mean? But listen, y'all, I just want to talk my shit a little bit because we, we we really out here, man. We really out here. Yeah. Like putting up numbers, numbers on the board like Pusha T. Cooking, sir. You know what I mean? We're going to talk maybe a little more Pusha T again. Um, And it, we, we need our respect, man. Like a lot of, we, we hear a lot of our bars out there. We hear a lot of Heavy. our slang out there. Um, A lot of y'all acting like Cuban Links, track nine. <laughs> Shark biters. Yeah, man. <laughs> we hear our analysis. We hear our takes. A lot of our isms, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Y'all not y'all not can- contacting us for sample clearance or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man. Yeah, I got I got a job for all of our viewers, everybody listening, everybody watching. Whether it's Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube. If y'all out there on the internet, if y'all go on Twitter. Y'all go on Instagram, Facebook, wherever y'all go. If y'all see our bars, our takes, our material out there from another platform, I want you to tag us. Let them know and let us know. So we let know. them know how influential we are. That's what I want y'all to do. I'm dead serious. I like how sin- I like the energy sending sin- 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 shit off I'm with, bro. Tired, man. <laughs> off real I'm tired, right. man. Like, like, give us our props, and or move out the way, or both. You know what I mean? It's time. Now, with Sam, with, with, with that fantastic setup, letting them know how everybody's stealing all bars and, and everybody want to hear what we got to say. I, I say we give them some more bars to steal. You yeah. know what I mean? Now, now the first half of the year, innovators, very light extremely light very you know what i mean so I, I, i'm thinking like we should give them some predictions for the second half you know what i mean let it you know what i mean give give the folks something to you know throw up on their platforms sin already let y'all know what it is some shit that y'all gonna bite you know what i mean so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> predictions for the second half of 2023 you know with this job this episode sin yep. i think they need to open up man oh shit <laughs> Salute to my brother, Joe. Yes, Shout yes, out to AC. Also, just a reminder, uh, you can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. and Twitter. We always hot on Twitter. This beat in the background made by yours truly. You know who it is. So sincere. I make beats. Holla at me. Super producer. Holla at that man. Yo, so yeah, like Mace was saying, it's been light first half, but first half is almost over. And yeah. We got himself yeah. for the second half. Talk to me, Denny. Um... I'm expecting to see a lot of collaborating, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, like, not really from the younger rap acts. I'm talking more from, like, the older generation. Yeah. I'm expecting to see some, like, seasoned vet type shit, like a like a Jada and Fab part two, you know what I'm saying? I'm expecting see, to see, like, see. people, like, just say, you know what, fuck it. It's for the culture. This is the 50th year of hip-hop. Even though it's August 11th, the actual birthday, I think people are gonna let that energy carry through to the end of the year, right. and we're gonna see a lot of pro- we're gonna see a lot of collaborations with our um, music. We're gonna see a lot of collaborations, maybe within shows. Shout out to Wu Tang and Nas, you know they're doing their thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and the, the the big show, August 11th, that's gonna have basically everybody and their mom there, you know, stuff hip-hop, like that. Hip Hop 50. I'm, I'm expecting Yankee Bronx, Stadium, Yankee Big Stadium. BX. Yeah, I'm expecting yeah. to see Bronx a lot Bronx. of a lot of collaboration bro i'm expecting to see a lot of maybe even from the younger cats you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. granted there's a lot of you know this is more your your your, your belly wick there's a lot of tension and frustration with the younger cats but Facts. if there's a year to come together if there's a year to build collaborate and just like put cohesive thoughts together this would be the year man i'm expecting heavy collaborations mm. Interesting. okay Interesting. what do you think what do all you right think? Um, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, spin it back to you real quick, um, because you know what the people want to know, what yeah. they want to hear. 
They want to hear. You want to hear that Nas nah, shit? Oh. <laughs> you think KD4 is going to drop we gotta get a before chance the end of the year? Crazy this four. is, um, man, let it be known. I don't, I don't know. I really don't. I think um, this is a new Nas we're dealing with here. This is a free Nas. His time's not available as, as it used to be. You know right. what I'm saying? There's a lot of things in the works. There's movie movie um, soundtracks. Mm-hmm. There's shows. There's um, business. I don't know. Maybe maybe sometime between, you know, hit and big hit and little hit. <laughs> hitting. <laughs> sometime, they'll make some time to do that. You know, I don't want to rush nothing with Nas because nothing's been rushed. His whole career is about not being rushed. And Other than Nas here. Uh, yeah. We, we, we'll hold the L for that. Yeah. Um, but other than that, Kanye gotta hold that up. But other than that, like he's never rushed. He always takes his time. Um, would I love to? Would I love to see it? Yes. Yeah, so either that or like a Magic Two. But I, I am here for it. But don't rush it, Nas, man. Don't don't give it to the people because you think they just want it out there. Like really cook it up, like you've been doing with the last four projects you've been you've been cooking, and really put your life soul into those things, so we can listen to those in like ten years and be like, yo, you remember when Nas was still doing this thing at fucking fifty? Yeah, yeah. That's right. what I need, bro. That's what I need. Yeah, but I mean, the, those projects, it didn't it didn't feel like it took him an awful lot of time to do. Like you know what I mean? Right. Like they was cooking, cooking. And right. they and they they what was it three, four, four, and, and four. Two years? Years? Like three, two, three years, yeah. I mean, so, it's, but it, it doesn't feel rushed. Right. So whether it is rushed or not, it just doesn't feel rushed. And you know, music's about what you feel. So exactly. as long as he, he, they keep generating that feeling, because the feeling they've been providing for the last four albums, I mean, like, we give Nas his flowers, but one day we're really going to have to have like a real definitive sit down and just like really give this man his true praise, man. At this age, at this, this run of life, still be able to deliver like, High power albums, albums, not songs, albums. Yes, it's exactly. at a high level, and I think that's beautiful and to do it with one producer. Just, just makes it even more special, man. Right, right, uh, right. Let me, let me jump in here real quick. Um, yeah, I infamously said last year, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'm not, I'm not gonna throw nobody else under the table, <laughs> under the bus. Uh, I'll, I'll speak to my words. I said, yeah, I don't see Nas dropping KD3 before the end of the year last year. And I had to eat those words right. at the end of the super year. quick because and we were close to the end of the yeah, year. Yeah. So, so yeah, it was like, like it, it was came like out by the time we were talking about <laughs> it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> crazy. hey, listen, I, yo, our energy crazy. is sync with with the world, with the universe, man. We speak, we 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 speak shit into real life, man. One with Don't, the force manifestation. Yo, we real here. shit over here. Um, but yeah, man, so I said that last year. I don't want to make the same mistake again. I don't want fucking pie on my face again like last year. Um, I'm going to say Nas and Hit Boy are going to spin the block mm. once more. Mm. And they're going to give us, if not KD4, maybe a Magic 2. Mm. I don't know why. I don't know why. Like, so, somewhere in here, somewhere I'm feeling more Magic 2 vibes than a, a, an, another addition to the KD series. I think they're going to drop something where it's like, it's not anticipated. It's going to be like on some surprise shit. You know what I mean? Um, and give us another, you know, another near classic, if not another classic. You know what I mean? I, I mm. see that happening before the end of the year. Copy that. Copy um, that. And, and, and while we're on the topic of surprise drops, I've had some time to ponder uh, the whole, you know, uh, Killer Mike, Andre 3000 <laughs> situation. Right. Um, and I feel like I'm leaning towards... We're going to get an Andre 3000 project, whether it's going to be a full rap album or not. I'm not sure. I can't speak to that. And I honestly feel like it's not going to be. But we're going to get something from Andre. When that interview with Sway, where he he said, yeah, yeah, that, nah, he's dropping. It's for real. And the, the guy even said, I thought you was joking. He was like, nah, nah, I've heard like non joint Like, there was nothing about his demeanor. There was nothing about his body language that said jokes, right? right. Uh, to me, uh, he and, that, and he was oddly specific about the number of songs that he that Andre had let him heard, uh, let let him hear. Um, and then I, I, I honestly feel like right after that, because he came in like the next day and immediately walked it back. He forgot about that NDA, apparently. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Blame so he got the call from somebody, if not Dre himself, somebody in Dre's camp. If, if Andre even has a camp, does he have a camp? I'm sure we he think? has a camp. He, he might live on a camp. camp <laughs> He's more likely to live on a camp and be out there camping in the wilderness. He went to camp as a kid. Then have a camp. 
Um, but so, somebody from over there said they hit the button. They was like, "Yo, Mike, what, what you doing? They, like, you're not supposed to be putting this information out there." Um, so I, I, I really feel I'm leaning towards Andre's got some in, in in the bag, and he's gonna release it before the end of the year. Um, I also think Griselda is gonna be uh, super active in the second half of 2023. Um, I, I, we, I mean, we're already expecting Benny. Right. We're mm-hmm. expecting Stove God. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Conway is supposed to spin back in around. The, in the studio again. He's um, dropping anyway. And I think I think Rome Rome Streets is gonna drop again. I think. Another old Yo, dropping. Rome. Listen, man. Second year is looking. I think the second year is looking kind of lit. Honestly, mm-hmm. that's the way I'm feeling. Mace, what you think? Copy. Y'all got y'all got some interesting predictions. Let me let me uh, start with the Nas business. Right. Um, I do not think Nas is dropping again this year. Uh, we would love it, but I I would bet against it. Um, Nas is on an international tour right now. Um, straight off the international solo tour, he's getting into the tour with the Woo. Uh, Hit Boy is you know promoting the album with his pops. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure Sin mentioned the Benny Def Jam album. I think he's gonna be. I think he's gonna have a, a lot of input on that as well. So I think due to time constraints, I don't see. Because I feel like Hit and Nas are very much a we need to be in the studio duo. True. You know what I mean? They're not sending beats and verses to each other across the world. So I don't think that uh, Nas is going to drop this year. Don't shoot me, chat. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't think Nas is going to drop this year. Um, we've chronicled, uh, you know, the business behind the rap. We speak about it often. Um, Sin... Uh, I, I believe you were the person to speak about bundles, or was it me? One of us spoke about the bundles coming back. Oh right, yeah, you know I, and I, mean? I want to touch on that too because mm-hmm. you did. It was you. You mm-hmm. you mentioned that for sure. Um, but and I, I don't remember the details of it, but you you said that in the second half of the year, right? That the the bundles that will sort of um, help out numbers mm-hmm. and the way the numbers look. Um, are coming back, but it, you know, after after June, right, 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 right. So I'm I'm guessing that a lot of more people will drop in the second half of the year <laughs> compared to this first half might have been the first half, the worst half of yeah. of, of a rap year in hip hop history. You know what I mean? years, yeah. That's an ESPN stat type of statement, <laughs> but who cares? You know what I mean? <laughs> um, my my two big predictions uh, for the second half is um, number one. I think that uh, Kendrick and Keen are going to drop a collab album. Mm. Um, maybe an EP-ish, 10-track, 12-track type of joint. But I think that um, I think that's the move. I think Kenny wants to drop right off of uh, uh, mid, the mid-steppers. I think Keen activates his creativity. Yo, thank God I got the soundboard this time. <laughs> I think Keem uh, uh, pause but that, stimulates his creativity. Record, by that last record, and pause. They stimulated something. I don't know pause. if it was creativity. Hey, yo. Pause, pause, pause. I, I, uh, <laughs> wait, where is that? That was not good music, dog. It wasn't. I, in my opinion, it wasn't. It wasn't good music, dog. But we got to be real. It was received well. You know what I mean? People were fucking with it. As much as I could jack that I don't fuck with something, I'm, I gotta I'm admit people, when y'all. people... I was about to say, when people I'm, fuck I'm with it... Right at this nigga like that. <laughs> like, I am this people. Right Send here. the problem. I was vibing with it. You know what I mean? Um, I think that's gonna happen this year. And I think we... Look, come on, man. The local celebrity rapper is dropping this year, bro. You think like, so for real, I for think real? he's Whoa. really dropping this year, bro. Like, Ugh. I see him outside. I see him, wow. you know what I mean? It's a bold prediction. That's I crazy, feel like bro. it's going to happen this year. You know what I mean? I feel like Nas is, is... You know, if there's like a unspoken for, you know, like jostling for the GOAT position <laughs> within rap, uh, Nas and Jay are the clear, you know... If there's five motherfuckers and two of them are dead, Jay and Nas yeah, are in that facts. conversation. You know what I mean? And I believe that that Jay competitively is seeing what Nas has done. You know what I mean? Nas has had a victory lap for about three years straight. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So okay. I think the, the the competitive juices are flowing, and I think that we're gonna get an <gasps> album from from. Hey! But I think we're gonna get an album. <laughs> you know what I mean? From from the local celebrity rapper this year. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be honest. That was that proposal, by the way. The 3K, that was perfect. I'm trying. The, <laughs> Doing the, my best job. The 3K album, uh, you know what I mean? I don't know, man. Like, who knows? I, I honestly see it. Who knows, man? Like, but, but do, you, so, do you see it? But do you, all right, I don't want to say do you not want it. But let's say you see it and you get it and it's on some like some trip hop type shit where it's on some like more hey ya. You know what I'm saying? You cool with that? 
Me, me personally? Yeah. Yeah, fuck. I love the love below. Awesome, but I but in the terms of rap music, <laughs> what are we gonna be talking about, bro? Are we we're gonna, gonna be flaming gonna, him? Wait, nah, I'm I'm not gonna flame him. Look, I, as we all know, I I don't flame anybody for their creative directions. You know what I mean? If if you feel like you'd rather sing than rap, as long as the music is good, the music is good. But we are the rap round table, and we gotta talk about things like where where do people rank? Right competitive nature you know what i mean mm-hmm. and if if the fact remains that andre drops something and it's still not a rap album that fact is going to remain and it's going to you know it's going to affect how how he ranks you before know? y'all before y'all wild out we're not saying it's not going to be good music we're sure it's going to be good music oh we? we just <laughs> <laughs> damn it man <laughs> come on man but we just want to know are, I are, want it are to we be. getting raps are we getting raps? Are we getting I am your neighbor, let me some sugar? I just want to know what we're getting. That's what, all I want to make sure. What's wrong with sugar, bro? It's not wrong with <laughs> What's wrong with borrow AM? What's wrong it's with not borrowing wrong with sugar? That. But when we're talking about rapping, oh, it's neighborly. Oh, you don't want to be a man. nice neighborly, kind person? Well, in the neighborhood of rap, that nigga is not, <laughs> is not coming to the meetings, bro. Jeez. The neighborhood watch meetings, he's been ducking all of them shits. Cause he has not been there <laughs> when it counted, bro. We need an album of rap music, Andre. We need it. I'm looking at you, bro. We need an album of rap music. All right, let's say he gives us an album of rap music and, and it's uh, fire. The, and the, and the the verses are more along the lines of uh, the Killer Mike feature. No, no, no. <laughs> we don't want that. Don't keep that. Stick to the flutes in Japan. We don't want that. Listen to your Jordan Three, bro. Is that a good? We didn't. We, well, I, I might not not have been around when we talk. If you did talk about it, um, did we discuss the the feature? What we thought about it, bro? I just yeah, we kind of we, we, we kind of knit bro. lightly. But lightly, the fact that people wanna, I know that are like rap aficionados, niggas I know who, who whose music opinion I respect are telling me he has the wackest verse on that Killer Mike album is crazy to me though. Oh. I didn't even get to listen to Michael yet. I got I got to tap into that. But they're saying it's the wackest verse on the album. That's it's crazy the wackest verse on the song easily. Uh, you know what I mean, was, I haven't, I haven't tapped in the was, way I'm supposed to. But it was cool to me. But um, nah, there was definitely something wrong. I knew there was something wrong when Future came in, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm vibing with this shit now. Like, that, <laughs> Come I was on, like, wait, that was the Future. You, if on, Future like, did that to you, the true the Atlanta fuck? goat. Bro, salute. Yeah, no, that's, not, that's, not, chill, 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 chill. that's not going that far. Bro. <laughs> it's not too far. Bro. Listen, man, you Dude. might you might be surprised by the opinion. <laughs> now, all right, all right, let's all right. let's cease the Andre three thousand yes, slander yes. session. Let's, let's you know what I mean? Let's call him a thing. You feel me now? Now, we've already spoken about how we need to start with the you know the list. You that's know what I mean? And how yeah, yeah. and how the you know starters. you know people are are going for cheap clicks for lists. You know what I mean? The only person that really makes good ones is our affiliate Beats Rhymes and Life. Shout outs to you, you know what I mean? But we friends and lists. The rest of the lists are, are pretty garbage. Now, you know, Rolling <laughs> and Stone. Us, we did we did our thing too we a little bit. Our, you know our list. We did our we, thing. We've done our thing. We made it before it was, you know, corny to make. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Timing matters. Yeah, that's what we did. You and and ours mean? is like we drop them few and far between. We don't want to oversaturate the Right. Room. And it's and you know, Shouts to Ransom, but our, our list was acknowledged as good. You know what I mean? Exactly. Now, Rolling Stone, they, they recently, you know, a little while ago, they put out the 100 best West Coast rap songs. You know what I mean? There were, you know, controversy, talk about it. We didn't really get into it. I'm sure the, the top podcast on the West, the West Coast, Coast made sure they, they spoke on it. But now we got to the 100, Rolling Stone 100 best East Coast rap songs. And you know what I mean? Like Sin already put y'all on game. <laughs> we are the number one rap podcast in New York. So we, we got to speak on this. Got you. you know what I mean? We have to. You know what I mean? So Rolling Stone 100 best rap songs list. Sin, you the mayor, man. Let, let him know how, about how we sin. feeling about this, bro. Bro, I, I opened, I tapped on the link and started, it started off at number 100. And I seen OPP at 100, the last slot on the list. And this is not, again, to to be clear, this is a list of strictly East Coast songs. Not all of hip hop, not all of rap, not all the regions, just East Coast. You're telling me OPP was in last place out of 100? For the best songs in the, I'm not saying it's number one or top ten or twenty nothing, but one hundred. Criminal. 
come on, man. Amazing. And then I keep going. But see, see I, uh, I'm i the type of guy that, that like reads to the end of the book to read the ending first <laughs> and then work it out later. Uh, so I, I didn't have the patience to, to ro- scroll through all 100 of them. So I right. went straight to the top. So I'm scrolling down. Now, number one, number one is Cream. No can't, problems can't with that whatsoever. With that. Cream is an all-time song. Classic. There's a lot of songs that we could debate that could be number one. Cream is definitely one of them. I'm not mad at that I at agree. all. But then I'm I'm scrolling through and I'm seeing some egregious Bruh. placings. Like, uh, first I know of all, what sin is about to cook these niggas. I first of all, first, first, oh, first, 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 first. Yo, I need that. This. I need that drop. <laughs> job, job, you didn't send me that drop, bro. Damn, bro. Uh, but first of all. Nas did not make the top 10 wow. of this list. Of Reasons. East Coast, best East Coast songs of all time, Nas did not make the top 10. <laughs> he got as far as 12 with New York State of Mind. What? You know, you know who did make the top 10? Bobby fucking Schmurda, bro. <laughs> and no slander whatsoever to Bobby Schmurda. He's home team. You know what I mean? Welcome home and all that. You know what I mean? But number 10, Bobby Schmurter. Hot nigga. Hot boy. And then (laughs) 12, Nas, New York State of my... Come come on, bro. Mm. Come on. Hold up. Where's my drop? Where's my drop? The Mm. fuck are you talking about? That wasn't the most... uh, the the thing that irked me was was why you were saying Nas was twelve. We had Pete Rock and CL Smooth, Ooh. Troy at thirteen, Troy at thirteen, and then at fourteen we got Cardi B, Bodak Yellow. What the fuck is going on, oh, bro? Oh, misogynistic Dini. Is Uh-oh. that the Yo. one you Uh-oh. noticed, bro? Not clear bro out. That shit. What? Weird old shit. Even if, this could have been a, a classic out. Kim record. I still would have been a little off as far as like top fifteen, <laughs> but Bodak Yellow, dog. <laughs> That's a diamond record, nigga. But, bro, top 15 East Coast record all time? Rolling Stone must be smoking stones because that shit is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. All right, let me, let me, yeah. let me. Hold, let on, me. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to cook them a little, little, little oh, bit more. Because I got. Because Fight the Power and Annie Up did not make the top 20. But Nicki Minaj, get, get. If y'all didn't see, did y'all see the list? Did y'all yes, see what, yeah, yeah. What, what sure. was there? If if y'all didn't see the list, would you? If it not, and I said Nicki Minaj, what would you have thought the song would be? Possibly. Shit, a, a verse on Monster. Maybe maybe the um, what's her big drink? Pause. The um, looking ass nigga, something, bro, right. like something like powerful. Itty bitty kitty. I know. What song is that? I know. <laughs> That's I know. a mixtape classic. What, 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 yo. <laughs> <laughs> Mixtape classic. The ladies top, love that one. Top, song. They rap record, ball for ball. Y'all come on. Y'all don't have no male rappers top, y'all don't like on the list. Bro, man. what's going on here? Paid in full was 28. That was egregious. 28. Egregious. There was an Eric B. and Rock Kim song that was higher than that. Um, Eric, Eric B. B. for, for president. president was top 10, which is a classic, but I feel like Paid, paid in full, full is the have, one. Yeah, that's the right? one. That's the one. So they're already out of touch for that. I don't want to keep cooking the ladies, but Azalea Banks, 212. Made the list somehow at 41, yeah, crazy. and but see, here's the thing. So, it, just so y'all know that it, it's not, um, it's not misogynistic or anything like that. Um, Az- Azalea Banks was one slot ahead of Young and May. Ooh, mm. Young and May deserves she, a spot. That, ooh, was fire. Azalea was Banks. Fire. I don't know what the fuck they was thinking with that. Uh, listen, man, I'm not gonna get on the ladies. You know what I mean? Uh, I I know women that enjoy Itty Bitty Piggy, women that enjoy 212. Uh, Bodak Yellow, that's a little bit too high for me. But let's 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 oh, let's, get, let's, get, let's get right my, to it, man. Let's my get, autocomplete wrote Kitty, my bad. Let's get right to Itty it. There ain't no way that So Ghetto was a top 10 East Coast rap song. Bro, of all whole that's records? That's egregious. So Ghetto's not even a top 10 Jay-Z record. Of all that's, whole that's records, wild. So that's Ghetto? Are you serious? Me. That's not even a top 10 primo beat. Not you don't know. So uh, Ghetto is, is higher would, than... Might. But Maybe in the in the lower half, in the lower <laughs> half. I mean, it's, but so ghetto above New York State of Mind. Yeah, it's, no, that's crazy. Wild. That is crazy. crazy. You know what I mean? And I'm not gonna lie, like there's multiple like instances where it's like, hold up, this is this is, you know what I mean? So ghetto was was that was made me the angriest. But we got 
uh, Bonita Applebaum, 59. Children's Story, 51. The Bridge is Over, 49. And then when you see the records that's what? like close to him, like you kind of go crazy. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Camera Old Boy, but Camera Old Boy 30 and then Ice Cream 31? Like, it, how, bro? And it's like, listen. I, I know I'm here for the young rap, and I'm here to make sure y'all y'all show them the respect y'all need. But I, I like things to be equally distributed. I feel like Rolling Stone really wanted to like get the clicks for the young viewers because there's a lot of newer songs that I was outside for that wasn't really like hot the way y'all was saying it. So it's like I don't know Rolling Stone. I wish we can get like a like almost like a. Uh, a police, you know how how when they got the five faces, you got to pick out. The, I wish we could do that for the, for the. I wish we could do the Rolling Stone writer lineup because something tells me, you know what I mean. These is not people that you would expect to be making of a the top culture. hundred rap songs of the East Coast list. Crazy, you know what I mean? Man. Yo, one train at thirty eight. I love that record, but that's so, crazy. Sometimes it was like they they picked. The, the right artist but the wrong song right, yeah like right. like Jay-Z at 6 is not bad to me it's just right. so ghetto like, it's so crazy ghetto. Yeah, it's and that's wild. a great record not, nothing against that record but top 6 top 6 top they, six? they lost so plug tune it bro then like, I ain't wanna slander but please no, no, no. bro like there's so many De La So songs Damn. and now, now that this shit is finally, on finally back on streaming mm -hmm. like y'all should go back and redo the knowledge of the songs, because obviously y'all y'all not really tapped into to the ca catalog. And I, like, like me, myself, and I, buddy, um, ego tripping, um, uh, stakes is high. Uh, like, there's yeah. so many yeah. they like classics that resonated, and y'all went with plug tuning, bro. Like that was that was on. a that was a where we we know we're doing pick. That's what that's what that and was. Then and to just again just to show you, <clears throat> I love the roots. Right, but I gotta keep it a whole buck. The roots, uh, the next movement was one slot above Busta Rhymes. Put your hands where my eyes, eyes can, can see. see. And I let you deal with that. Sam. Lean back. <laughs> and I it, can't do it. I love the roots. I love Black Thought. I yeah. can't do it. The, ne never in a million years would I would I pick. And, and and again, out of all the roots songs, the next movement, bro, that's not the one, bro. Not even you got one. me, like. And you know, you know, one of the things that I think that Rolling State, Rolling Stone, makes some mistakes with these lists is that okay, when you talk about hundred top East Coast rap songs, I think you need to consider how the East Coast responds. I think okay. maybe like right. if you're looking at a you know nationwide level, maybe you know EXO Tour Life, you know does deserve to be over you know Deja Vu by Peter Guns and Lord <laughs> Tariq. You know what I mean? But in the East Coast. It's felt different. So I different. think you should really kind of consult people from the region that you're speaking to when you're talking about a top 100 yeah. list. You know no what transplants I mean? either. Please. Oh, not, not, oh, you know, they lived in New York for two years, so yeah. they know they know New York. They know the culture. So to Rolling Stone, y'all get all four of the Lord Jamar buttons. <laughs> all four of them. What the Cook fuck are you set? talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? Get rid of this guy. Like, who is this guy? Where did he come from? Yeah. And why do we fucking keep acting like he's somebody yeah. that we need to fuck with? <laughs> Get rid of this guy. Get, rid Get of out him. of here. Get rid of him. Early long. Now, now, let's pivot a little bit because, you know, Rolling Stone, they, they making our heads hurt, man, and we already drinking. You know, uh, there's, there's been a little bit of talk recently, you know what I mean? Amongst us and amongst the, you know, fuller hip hop community, you know what I mean? You you know you guys out there that, you know, when it comes to the GOAT candidates in rap, you know, there are a bunch of traits that you may feel like they need to carry, right? But one that there's been controversy about is whether the GOATs need to be street or not. You know what I mean? Like, the, the do the... To be a GOAT rapper, do you have to have a hold on the streets? And that's interesting because I, I was really thinking about that when, when you guys were mentioning the Young M.A. Azalea Banks. Because I feel like they're equally popular songs, but in completely two different realms. So when it comes to rappers in general, you know what I mean? Do you think that they need to, I don't know, have a street edge to be a GOAT candidate? How you feeling, Dan? Um, I thought about this on the way here. And I gotta say, you kind of do, man. Mm. Like as I as I thought about it, who are all my favorite MCs? 
And I'm like, I, out of like every 10 people I could think of, nine had at least their hands deep in the streets, bro. Like, <laughs> let's keep it a buck. Like, with the exception of maybe like Lupe Fiasco and like Eminem, mm. Mm. everybody I fuck with was kind of a goon, bro. Or like, <laughs> or, or had like some kind or at least of goon a studio act, goon. You know what I'm saying? Either, right. either you were. <laughs> A actual goon or you had affiliations with niggas who were goons like you know how like the rap niggas try to be cool with the basketball players and vice versa mm-hmm. like i'm not a street nigga but i got ties with street niggas right, so right, it's kind of right. like stay away from me because i'll clap you type shit Affiliation. it's kind of like that and i think um it's hard for me to say because i don't want to be the guy that's like well if you weren't in the street i don't want to hear you i don't want to be that guy but i i, I can't lie that you're that guy yeah, I, I, have to, I have to acknowledge yeah, it because be almost everyone I love has like really been either deep trapped in street shit, raps about street shit, raps about street shit from the from the the bird's eye view. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Like it's always I really thought about this on a way like when I, I could only think of like two or three niggas. You know what I'm saying? I guess you could throw like an Andre 2000 Black Thought S type nigga in there, but, but like you, but the, no, 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 no. Speak your truth, Dini, because you yeah. don't fuck with them. Then. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> You don't. I fuck with Common. Sin knows you, Dini. I fuck with Common. All right, Common. There you go. I know you fucked with Common. Black, Black Thought. Salute to him. <laughs> but but I, I got, I got to be in my lyrical schmiracle vibe, bro. And I, I don't always be in that vibe. That was the um, I like, you know what I'm saying. I like to, like to be more balanced with my shit. But I, I have to admit, I, you kind of, as far as the goats, you kind of do. Like all the niggas I love, bro, was in some type of street shit. So I feel weird saying you don't have to be when the overall majority of the artists I fuck with. Are you get what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Right, right, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to me. Um, sin, I cook a little bit, man. Um, yeah. just like you say, Dini, I don't want to sound like you know the suburban dude <laughs> who's counting up, you know, who's doing the body counts of your favorite rappers, you know <laughs> who was trying to get on Reddit and find out, you know, how to do the gang signs that that rappers are throwing up. But listen, I think it's it's it has to do with hip hop in general. And you know what I mean? The hip hop in general is a a voice of the voiceless. You know, people at the bottom and, and people in the streets tend to be, you know, people at the bottom. You know what I mean? So so I think in order to be a real GOAT candidate, you know what I mean? I feel like at one point that might have been a recipe. I feel like all of the GOAT candidates who have come out 2010 and after they don't necessarily have that street edge. I, do you think? Do you feel like Kendrick has a street edge? Uh no, but I feel like Kendrick is definitely raised around people who were definitely in the streets. What about Cole? Hmm. Because we have to consider. We have to consider that not all goat candidates are our goat candidates, right? Indeed. So when I think about for the newer generation who their goat candidates are, they they might call Kanye a goat candidate. You know what I mean? I hear Drake a lot amongst the the, the young crowd. Definitely the street niggas. So I think you know, as as much as I hate to say it, I feel like our generation might have been the proponents of you have to be a real nigga to be a great rapper. <laughs> you so feel what, what I'm what, saying? What year would you say that? You said 2010. 2010s and after. Because even then, um, Lil Wayne would still be in some circles considered a street nigga. You get what I'm saying? Right, right, right. He came out of '99 though, dang. But his but the max takeoff was like 06, like 06. You know Agreed. what I'm saying? Agree, agree. And 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 so you right, but I feel like he is in the. You know what I mean? Think about who the young the young niggas really really like right now. You know Lil what I mean? Baby. Tyler the Creator. You know what I mean? Like Lil Baby, little baby you street nigga. for sure, for sure. But I don't know if he's a goat candidate for the little niggas. Not a goat candidate. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Can Cooks I push in? back a little Cooks bit? In? Tyler is Tyler the, is Tyler the Creator considered a goat candidate? I, Probably he he can't even get on the top five list apparently. So <laughs> uh, hey, we we saw how he felt about things because you right, get right. left off of all yeah, these lists. Stay so, correct. So hurt. You know what I'm um, uh, let me let me jump in here real quick. I think um, I think to a certain extent, there has to be there will always have to be a street element. If you're not from the streets, you gotta be street adjacent. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, or or keep some street energy around. Look, for, for all all the shit that I talk about Drake, let's keep it a buck to to a certain gen, to a newer generation Drake is a goat candidate. Right. Like you can't like that's undeniable. Not to me, obviously, right? For obvious reasons, but it's a great argument. Right, but to OVO to a young OVO. to the younger generation, you know what I mean? Like the hits, um the 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 bars, you know what I mean? Like um he, he Went at it with Meek Mill, like he's battle tested, so like he 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 ticks a lot of boxes. And he's mob tied. Right. So but he keep we know also Drake, 
his upbringing is not street, right? But he keeps a lot of street around him, yeah. and he's very much a, a, like a sponge to all that. Right. You know what I mean? Um, and so I, I think, um, and when we think of Kanye too, like Kanye is in no way, in no way, shape, or form street. But he, you know, he started hanging around a lot of a lot of the goonage, Rock you know what I mean? The a lot Rock, of the Rockefeller yeah. goons and all right. that. Right. So he absorbed a lot of uh, a lot of that that energy. So I think. Um, if not street, street adjacent, just being around that energy, um, I, I, I think helps out a lot. Now, the the things that I wonder though are um, sort of like artists like let's say Busta Rhymes. You know what I mean? He he's never really talked about in in those conversations, and I always felt like it was because you know he was like he was this kid from Long Island. Uh, he wasn't really he never gave off a street energy he always gave off like you know a more uh, quirky energy yeah. right hashtag quirky um, <laughs> you know more sort of colorful more out there creative you know what I mean with all the outfits and everything and the videos um, so may maybe it's that you have to incorporate that street element somewhere in into your music um, and you have to do it Probably pretty early on because, like, if you switch up too late, it's crazy, they gonna they gonna call you, they are gonna pull your card on you. Facts. You know what I mean? Um, and I think like with, with somebody like Buster Rhymes, like I think like in the two thousands, um, he started you know talking a little bit more street stuff, talking like some you know coke deals, big and, bang era. Too. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, um, and we never believed that from him. So uh, I was too, it was way too late for him. So you know what I mean? I, I think that's what it is. I think you have to like be at least surrounded by the street culture and street energy and like incorporate it into your music fairly early on because you know otherwise you know and 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 you know it, it stands to figure because you know hip-hop is it came from the streets it's street music mm -hmm. street culture you know it is what it is you know what i mean so if we could come to a to a conclusion it, even if they don't have to you know they maybe they didn't move packs or or you know <laughs> do drills on their own but your music, at the very least, has to resonate with those that do that. When we right. say that, or even, or even niggas that do those things, if they have a reverence for me, and that, and that shows. Kind of like, like um, this the little chain thing when when dude said, "Hey, I did it for Drake." You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> like if nothing else, that that street little Toronto street rap kind of like shows off for Drake a little bit. Because if you're not a goon. But you got goons who are ready to goon out for you, which right. is still a part of the, the street element. You know what I'm saying? Right. In that aspect. Right. So you don't necessarily have to be the nigga moving the pack. You might just know the nigga moving the pack. And by that, just just by that um mutual knowing of each other, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, he know the niggas that get to the pack. Facts. And sometimes that's enough to like, you know, get you in or out of shit. It's just it's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, you have to at least at least speak to the street dynamic. In so. some aspect. To be uh, so we we speaking on GOAT candidates, right? Mm -hmm. Something we've touched on a lot recently. I think uh, it was due to... First time we spoke on it was due to like an Ebro comment, if I'm correct, Sin. Um, was upcoming superstars mm -hmm. in rap and the mm -hmm. lack thereof. You know what I mean? We talking about GOAT candidates and we talking about all of that. But right now, it's, it, there seems to be a dearth of, of like superstardom within the rap game. You know what I mean? So dearth. if... Yeah, hey man, I, I was reading my SAT to the questions. Vocabulary. You know what I mean? That's how we give it up. Vinacular. You know what I mean? Uh, so, if if you guys had to choose, would you think there's any new superstars upcoming in rap? Sin, I'm really like anxious to hear your opinion on this. To be honest, so sincere. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not at all. With not confidence. at all. Um, and I, I think we we've uh, touched on this in the past past episodes maybe even like a year ago um where we were looking ahead and trying to find who is the next bona fide superstar rap and we couldn't really find one um and i think mace you might have brought up like nba young boy yeah yeah, yeah. um yeah. and it's like i mean it's just a, it's a it's a weird time i think that we are entering a time where it's it's not gonna be uh, like a big three or a big four, but a lot of smaller like 10, 15. So like maybe not, maybe not superstars, 
You know what I mean? Like, I don't see anybody that has the superstar quality. Um, I, I saw, you know, and I'm, you know, look, I, I could very well be wrong because I didn't see the superstar quality in J. Cole. And look, here we are. Like, that, True. that he's a bona fide superstar. True. But, um, you know, with Drake, we saw the superstar quality. With, with Kendrick, we saw the superstar quality. Whether, you know, we all loved it or not, you know, we saw the quality there. Um, I don't see any superstar quality nowhere in the landscape. So I think we're still going to have stars, obviously. You know what I mean? Uh, Lil Baby, um, Gunners, and, you know, uh, and NBA Young Boys. But as far as superstardom, I don't see the upcoming superstar. It's not in my vision. Now, Sin, you, um, if you could reach to the right real quick pass me that Mets hat over there because <laughs> I'm going to go with Ice Spice, man. That's the next uh, upcoming superstar in rap, bro. Like, I'm going to be honest uh, with you, to man. Javi. Shouts to Javi. Shouts to Mad Max, the, the two, uh, you know, presidents of the Ice Spice fan club. <laughs> Salute. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like that's that's a clear candidate for superstar now. So, to bring it back, um, just like Sin said, Kendrick, Drake, uh, Cole, I believe, Nikki and Future. Nikki, of course. Mm-hmm. You Future know, are huge. in that. You know, our last few superstars and our superstars before then have, have looked a little bit different, right? Uh, I think in order to attain superstardom nine times out of ten, there has to be some sort of mystique. There has to be some sort of aura. You know what I mean? Some Almost that that I can't get to you quality. And, and right now, when we're living in the the TikTok generation, the let you know everything that's happened generation, the tweet about the last time I took a shit generation. <laughs> it's like, it's hard to create that. You know what I mean? It's like, you know everything about them before you even ever hear a song. So I feel like, you know, the recipe for superstardom may have to change a little bit in order for, for, for the new generation to attain that because none of them have what the Rihannas have. You know what I mean? What the motherfucking, you know, the the princes have. You know what I mean? The Michael Jacksons, like Section superstar and the Beyonce's yeah. and shit. The, you know what I mean? I don't even know certain shit about these motherfuckers that have been out for 35 years. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, we seen videos. You know, I mentioned Ice Spice. I see TikToks from before she was famous. You know what I mean? I'm like, I don't, how did they even get to these? You know what I mean? So it's like, I might be reaching a little bit because it's like I don't think any of the upcoming people that I may mention have the qualities of of our former superstars. superstars. Mm-hmm. But I think you know, for a new generation, I feel like Ice Spice is honestly there. I have to be honest. Sim, what's what's the vibes? Yeah, no. If I could just just jump in real cool. quick and piggyback off that, um, and maybe th- just throw it back to you. Um, do you think? Maybe uh, the social media age and, and having s- too much of a presence in social media is actually hurting the chances of artists growing to that superstar status. Because think about it, Kenny, we just the other day uh, all collectively on social media discovered a Kenny Burner. <laughs> you know what I mean? Before that, Kendrick did not. <laughs> Nasty That's a word. fact. Yes. Um, Ken, it was a joke. But he can afford him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Afford I'm not going to be mad at Kenny wearing fake Jordans, yeah, bro. Um, like, can I but, borrow something, nigga? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, before that, Kendrick did not, did not exist on social media. J. Cole, we don't see on social media. Right, right, right. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, hey, may, maybe maybe that's that's what the younger generation needs to do is just like, Lay, lay off the social media a little bit. You know <laughs> what I mean? You bur- yes. You're burning your, your flame out. That's hard, that's hard for them because they, they make so much money online nowadays, bro. Like the mayor, the that's mayor parents on just get you deals just by looking at your numbers. You know what I'm saying? So how your social media business affects your actual business too. So mm. they're not letting that go no time soon. What I what I will jump in and say <laughs> is I will acknowledge, I will give you and I will give Jarv your props because... For, for a girl that's really just dropped like three songs, we ain't really see no crazy push. She came out of nowhere with this shit. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden she was everywhere. Now she's doing Fire songs with Taylor Ooh. Swift. So like that's that's a huge jump. That's a good look. That's, that's superstardom. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if nothing else, that's damn near getting close to superstardom. We all know how getting close to the right people is almost transfer some shit to you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But like I, I if it was up to me, I would have might have said glow. I might have said big glow, but it seems to have tapered down a little bit, right, mm. right, you know. Right, but right. when she when she kicked off the door, man, the shit with Cardi and, and you know what I'm saying, it seemed lit for a second. F and F, like she was she was on her way, you know what I'm saying. The deal with CMG, 
So I thought she was the next one, but yeah. it seemed, like I said, it seemed to have tapered off. Salute to the ladies for, for doing their thing, though. Nah, and Sin is 100% right. Like, social media is almost like taking away the, you know, you feel like if you could DM your favorite artist, you know, you don't feel like they got yeah. that, or, that untouchable aura, you know what I mean? Right. And it's like, listen, man, like... You need that, like, it's, level of separation, and it's difficult because, at, at, you know, we're in a position that when these artists are trying to get on and they're trying to get popular, they have to stay on social media to keep themselves right, visible. Exactly. So by the time you reach that level, it's like you've already built your fan base Bingo. on being completely accessible. Online. But, you know what I mean, you can't reach that next level because, you know, everybody can feel like they can get to you. Now, Dini said something uh, interesting because he said Ice Spice uh, may have reached that level because... You know, she's up there with Taylor Swift on stage mm-hmm. and whatnot. Right. Big deal. Um, but do we... I don't know. Like, do, do we really want to call that superstardom already? Because that can go, like... Me. It feels like that can go, like, next week. Tell, tell, right, this, this, it's, it's, it's the equivalent, but, like, times two, really, of being on stage with Drake, if you really think about it. Right. You know so in the moment she has a, a, that level of, a, of stardom, right... But does, shouldn't superstardom be something that is acquired over time, or are we are we past that that era? Am I, just, am I just am I just being be old? Instant nah, superstar. I agree with you, you know what I'm saying? Be an instant. I think it's a blow. I think it's a build. To for true superstar. True superstar. I think it's a build. But to be right. to be true super known, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Where every the free world knows who you are. Right. Is is a form of superstardom. Is it not though? Like, Agreed. I hate Agreed. to say Ice Spice is a household name. She's not a household name yet. But the fact she did that song with Taylor Swift. She, and she was at Kim K she's, house. She's in Don't a lot of vanilla that. households had now. North, had Northwest singing you, her you know bars. What I'm saying? You know like, what I mean? It, it yeah. means something. It does mean something. Y'all don't have any other candidates? From the dudes? <sighs> not really. Not not right now. I think the male Jeez. candidate for superstardom is your boy Quando Harlow. No. No, if he was no, on the no, superstar, no, no. that shit would have happened already, the, bro. The, the, the charisma, the, the, the female what first charisma? fan base. No, this is what I need to know. Hey, where, where, don't where don't let the, the curls confuse you. ain't never seen the videos of him and Drewski? I ain't feel those, bro. Don't, don't, let, the, don't let the curls confuse you, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he's already been a white man can't jump. Yo. You got a song. That's, we got that's a, one of the song, recipes for superstar. Song with that's Drake. Not the way it flopped. Big song with Drake. Listen. It ain't happened yet, dog. It ain't happening, right, dog. Right, right. You said he stole more records than Ice Spice, though. Did he? Yeah. Is he a Man. more household name than Ice Spice? I don't it's know. It's his song with Taylor Swift, know. dog. I don't know. Drake! <laughs> Drake! <laughs> he did get the Drake feature. That song is fire. I, I got to admit that song is fire. That's Downs. just my candidate. I'm not saying Harlow Man. is uh, you know, is is there yet. But that's my, after Ice Spice, that's my next now candidate. Not with the bonnet, dog. Amongst our... our, our <laughs> But you sent it to the chat. You Not sent a, a bonnet, a, dog. If Lil Uzi was wearing a bonnet, you wouldn't have sent that to the they chat. They look at him on Twitter, though, dog. Hey, man. Looking hey. like a straight diva. Fame and infamy. You know, it's all in the I same you. boat. I you know you. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Public, ain't no bad publicity, huh? Listen, not in 2023. It don't seem it like don't, it, it really bro. don't. It really don't. <laughs> Maybe if uh, Harlow had not just dropped, um, I don't know, his his version of that dud. Yeah, <laughs> of four four four. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, maybe he might have been on on the trajectory, but uh, he dropped. Like th- th- all all respects, uh, you know, y'all know how much I love me a personal album, but it was way too soon for that. Like not enough people cared about you on so that personal level yeah. to drop that so quick. You know what I mean? Right. You needed to build up to that, bro. Nah. Like we gotta you know you to want that. Bro. Like. Niggas ain't know you. Niggas ain't want to know you yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to let the people want to know you to give an album like that. Right. So I dig it. Look how long it took Hole to do it. Yeah. Real yeah. Real yeah. Real like 20 you know, Harlem might have the whole built up. No, nah. <laughs> now, now, now with that bonnet, dog. <laughs> shit, even Nas, life like, life is good. Like, that's okay, shit. Yeah. What's that, 07? I mean? 12. 2012. Oh, 12, man. Real shit. talk. Now, Dini, you you doing a lot of bloviating over there, bro, but... Yeah. It I'm, is what it is. I, I'm going to be honest. What, what the folks really want to hear is is the takes on a Young Thug album. Because if y'all didn't peep, go back to the lunch hour. You know what I mean? Jov tapped into the Young Thug album. Salute you know, to Jarvie. business is business. You know what I mean? So, Dini, how are we feeling about the, the surprise Young Thug album? 
This is my time to to bow take out. Send. I'm coming to you next. Break. Like powder break. Send. I asked you about that break. Dirk album last time. Take I'm coming to you for the Thug album, man. Yo, um, I'm actually impressed. I liked it. I really liked it. Um, we all know Parade on on Cleveland was basically a a a, a great ode to fuck you, Gunner. That's essentially what that was, bro. Oh, it was essentially a fuck you, Gunner ode. Oh, um. Money on the dresser, Gucci, Gucci grocery bag, cool. But track four through ten, though. That's the heat right there. That's the heat. That's if you want the vibe. If you want the vibe, track four through ten. That's when you got um cars bring me out with Fuge, That's um so with the racks twenty one um and Travis, Uncle M Abracadabra with Travis went through it. Oh, you went with Drake is fire. Like salute, That's yo. So Can we give Metro some shout outs, bro? That's a Metro, bro. Shout out to Metro for like making beats that if I didn't hear yo Metro, I wouldn't even know he made those uh-huh. beats, bro. He really he must have took that hit boy shit to heart. When that nigga <laughs> said, yo, switch your shit up, give me something different than some 808s. He's been doing that, man. Like more Metro, more flowers for Metro, man. Like there was at least four beats on this shit. Like if he did not have his calling tag on there, I would not know who made the beat. Shout out to Weezy on the track. He Weezy. The beast Weezy, not Lil Wayne Weezy, Weezy the producer. Right. He cooked. I mean, I, I really like the album. The whole album reminds me of like a like a high speed chase in your in your whip, man. Like if you want if you ever like do the highway thing, you're doing 80 on the highway. That's how the album made me feel, man. Um if you're a lyrical schmirical nigga, don't even bother. This is not for you. <laughs> this ain't your as, this as is not I for you. Not. If this you're a lyrical, smirical, lyrical nigga, like this is not gonna be your vibe. Even though he was rapping. Right. And he this might have been like the most lyrical thug we've got in a while, but if if you're on lyrical shmir, it might be a little it might be unshmirical. Do you think he's a genius? I don't think he's a genius. I think he makes great music. <laughs> Shout out to that man though. I think he makes great music. I do I you. do see the vision Sun had. Genius was a little except but me and him were the ones that kind of were the, the thug supporters right. at the table. So I, I do Wait, see. Wait, were you? You was on board don't, with don't, Thug back don't, then? Don't play with me. We can go back and watch. <laughs> no, I mean, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to edit in the tape at no, this no, moment. No, no. Bro. The, bar to, the Bar to Six is what brought me home, bro. It's, <laughs> right. the, it's the best of the Arter series. Like, you can count Lil yes. Wayne's card. I, I don't know why in my in my uh, head I thought. Six fire. Crazy. I thought in my head I thought I, I thought only Homeboy was. The, nah, the, nah. He, he, the he was on a psychopathic level of the shit. Like, he was on genius. Like, like. You were providing balance. Yeah, I was just saying the nigga's nice. He makes good music. If you really want to like vibe out, if you, like I said, if you want to do math equations while listening to your rap, <laughs> Yo. he's not for you, dog. If you if you want to, you know, rub on some cheeks, get some dubs, listen to some good music in the club, blow your dope, whatever you do, you know what I'm saying. But that's what Thug is for. Thug is for that. Thug is not for like dead in the middle of the little Italy. You're not getting that from him, bro. You're not you're not getting no super sharp. But you're gonna get great music to vibe out to. I'll just step in for like 30 seconds. Bro, as as we know, I have not heard this album. It literally just dropped today. Right. Um, as of the recording of this episode, and I've been super busy today. Uh, but even if it was a clear day, I probably would not have Damn. jumped out the window to listen to this <laughs> on the day that it dropped. I probably I'll probably get to it at some point just because, you know, to do my due diligence. No, you're not. Um <laughs> and or I might not. It's but it's it's a good possibility that I won't. I respect it. Um, but I mean, the 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 honesty of it is that I I just his voice, I could never get into his style and vocal inflection. I just couldn't do it. There's a lot of people that feel that way about Kendrick Lamar, and I respect it. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, so you know what I mean? Like it, it's not. I mean, I, I might spin a Gunna album. I might spin a little Baby album. Uh, probably before a Young Thug album. No matter how fire you might tell me a young thug album is uh just hearing his voice is like you know nails on a, on a chalkboard for me so it is what it is so let me let That's me close out man. this little part now so I-, I thought the second half of the album that metro did yeah i thought that's where it got lyrical yeah and i thought it got more lyrical on the metro beats so shout out to thug and metro for that yeah. and my one gripe is this i don't know if you felt this way with the I just felt like Gunner would have sounded good on a lot of these songs, bro. I hate, I hate to admit it, but I was like, yo, a couple of just like if Gunner just jumped on at the end, this would have been a little fire. Yeah. So it's weird to see what that dynamic's gonna be now because right. they used to do a lot of shit together. But obviously, that's that not gonna be, be the nothing with nobody. <laughs> yeah. Nothing with nobody. You got it, man. Um, oh, wow. that's a you know before I tap in, Sin, that's an interesting uh, argument right there. Like I think 
We need to like maybe do a little segment on rappers who you just couldn't get into because mm. of their voice. That's an interesting Probably like, is. you know, for whatever, for whatever reason, you just can't, can't, can't just actually. your voice, just straight your voice. Just the this voice? Ver- this th- certain rappers who are nice who I just and, can't get into. And of honestly, voice. um, ju- uh, just put a pin on this for uh, another episode. But whatever happened to deep voices in rap? Is it just me? Um, who who got a deep rapping. voice in rap? Like a big voice, DMX so it's voice. Hard to tell. And it all using uh, a lot of auto tune. Yeah, so they it's all kinda... singing and shit. Uh, that's just a random thought I have. But proceed. Now, Young Thug business is business. Uh, surprise, you know what I mean? Like I didn't think that this, I didn't think Thug was gonna drop anything until shit was resolved. You know what I mean? Now, we have to mention that jail albums come in two different forms, right? <laughs> uh, you can have the, you know. Me against the world, Tupac variety. Okay. I was recording, knowing I was about to go in. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? So I'm focused. Or you could have like Slick Rick behind bars on some bullshit. You know what I mean? Where it's just, I'm just going to throw your vocals over some. I don't like this mm-hmm. Slick Rick slander. <laughs> over Already? Some real quick. Already? Already? Modern, Already? That album was garbage, bro. All right. Over some but modern wait, production. Ah! All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. I'll, I'll, I'll add the ding, too. Truth it was, at the it wasn't table. Great. I'll just it wasn't say great, it. Truth, I'll set you free. So there's two type of jail albums, and, and that's the thing. I, this is an album that was thrown together. You know what I mean? Now, Thug, you know, and now I'm not going to avoid the obvious elephant in the room. What's better, Thug or Gunner's album? You know what I mean? And I think it kind of falls under so which rapper you like better. You know what I mean? Because Thug is Thug. You know what I mean? He's a better rapper than, than Gunner. You know what I mean? So if you just like how Thug raps as opposed to Gunner, then yeah, it's going to be. But I, I got to say, I might be in the minority here, but I think Gunner's album was better than Thug's, bro. Mm. I'm not going to lie. Like, this album, it, it wasn't... Thug is, a, Thug is a really good rapper. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like going to be whack. It's not like... They, it's thrown together shit. You know what I mean? When you're talking about Jonesboro is crazy. Gucci grocery bag is crazy. The joint, the second, the OU, the uh, oh, OU went, the Drake joint is Drake crazy. Fire. But it's like Gunner's album kind of had that, you know, we going to hear about what's happening feel. You know what I mean? This sounded like a compilation. All the hottest niggas in rap got together. All the hottest producers in rap got together. We going to make sure Young Thug shit is hot. You know what I mean? So it's like, while... It was a good album. I can't say, like, you know what I mean? It was something that I'm really going to revisit. You know what I mean? It, it sounded like, you know, some shit that was thrown together to me. You so know like, what I mean? It like he wanted to really get a, a party vibe element to try to, like, maybe right. beat out with Thug. Because that's what Gunna does. Right. You know what I'm saying? Maybe try to match him. But, yeah. And Thug's trademark is kind of pushing his creativity to a different level on each album. So hearing, like, maybe three- and four-year-old Thug verses, shit that sounded like so much fun or, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, it's like, yeah, I could tell what these were kind of throwaways. This is not the best that Thug could do. You know what I mean? So while it's a cool album, I didn't mind. It was good. It was refreshing hearing Thug. You know what I'm saying? Like, after, after all this shit, it was great to see Uzi pop out, Travis pop out, 21, Drake. That's... It was good to see that, but I can't say I really was like, yeah, this is it. You know what I mean? So, shouts to Thug, you know what I mean? What did Drake do on that? Drake did two joints. Two joints. Yeah. Intro and um, another, like, vibe. The hardest yeah. joint on there, yeah. yeah. But he, 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 he was spin, spin, or he was on his singing, melodic shit? Singing, singing, First joint was the one. melody. Yeah. Okay. The, um, the second one, he was kind of rapping on it. Cool, cool, cool. All right, man, let's get to um some more young <laughs> more young rap apparently more young littles um so uh as y'all might know out there by this point uh double xl dropped uh this year's installment of their freshman cover for 2023 uh now y'all as y'all know i'm i'm not gonna know who none of these people are <laughs> you know what i mean uh except for two uh glorilla and lola brooke Literally the only two names I recognize. On non misogynistic sense. You know what I mean? Like uh-huh. I, I'm tapped in with the ladies. Holla at me. Ladies. I don't scare the hoes. Hey girl. Um, but my main question here is, uh, where's Ice Spice, Mace? Mm, mm. You was just over here bloviating about Ice Spice being yes. the next superstar. Where's she at? Yes. Now, um, good good point. Now, <laughs> Ice Spice. Top rope. <laughs> Ice Spice in the vein. Wait, hold on. Not- to me. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> Salute. Sam. I'm the captain now. You know what I mean? Um, 
listen, man, Ice Spice, you know, because I was wondering as well when this when this list was released. And, and for you folks, this is going to count as the Young Rap segment. I don't got nothing after this, folks. It's, it's the Double XL <laughs> freshman list this week. All right? Now, listen, man, Ice Spice in the vein of, of Drake before her, Travis Scott before her, is another person I'm missing. But there's been artists that were so big by the time the freshman list came that mm. they turned it down. Mm. They felt like I'm bigger than all of these other oh, motherfuckers. So they, so they can do that. They then, can just be like, Jay yeah, they can I don't, I don't feel like being on Jay it. Jay told Absolutely. somebody not to do it. Was it Benny or somebody? Benny, yup. Benny said, didn't don't, take don't, it. Don't go on Benny that didn't list. take it because I mean, obviously that's for the up and comers. Yeah. You already a big dog kind yeah, of shit. Right, so. right. So I Spice, she just said, uh, you know what I mean? She let the, you know, she let the peasants have the list, man. She said, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm the princess of rap. You know what I mean? I, y- y'all need that more than I do. This munch. Now, to, to recap the list in general, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's, it's hard to really kind of like predict these folks future you know what i mean like i feel like there's been times where lists have came out and i thought they was all gonna go crazy you know what i mean and there's been times where there it seemed like there was a whack list and then they made you know they made they, they put in the work now this year's list i'm not gonna lie other than the the the, the gentleman uh let me see i think his name is uh uh Winner, uh, oh no, Cedar Don, the folk, the, the the cat who won. Basically, you know, every year they they DC let the, the folks, they let the fans vote in the tenth person. You know what I mean? Oh, so DC the Don, that's who DC the Don is. Okay. Yeah, and I don't know anything from bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like this is literally my lane on the podcast, and I <laughs> failed you guys. So I apologize. Man. I feel a lot better. Man. You know what I mean? Listen, thank you. But from everyone else, I'm not gonna lie. I at least got one joint on there. You know what I mean? Like everybody else, I, I've heard joints from it, and I've enjoyed like finesse two times. You know what I mean? Out of Memphis, fuck with him. He Back came out. Fire. Listen, and he ain't even going viral a little bit. I think him with and his show got an only. Fans, With the to be host. honest, you know what I mean. Don't get a host Y'all let me know how that is. I'm not gonna check. You know what I mean. But you know, finesse two times is a name. You know what I mean. Lola Brooke, just like Sin mentioned, she been going kind of crazy. You yeah, know what has. I mean. Like she, she's a ball of energy. You know what I mean. It's I'm not gonna call her a future superstar while we just talked about it. We but she got that up. quality. You know what I mean. Up. Charismatic, active. You know what I mean. Like I seen her in, in, in the Joe Budden podcast. You know what I mean. Now Rob 49, more of a street element was just on like three tracks on a new Dirk album you know what I mean so he's putting in work did, did um Glorilla irk you to see you on the list like it irked nah, me nah nah like, what Kind of like mean? a little. Why did it irk you? Because I'm like you, like kind of in, in the same vein as Ice Spice is you cooking think, so right, crazy. She was too big. Kind of, you know what I'm saying? I mean, when you look at the names on the list, she's like really the only ginormous name. She's already like four, four big records in, bro. Big records. Mm, yeah. Big, yeah. Major, sure. major, major record you, deal. But she, she, and, ain't, she ain't up there with uh, with Taylor Swift. Yeah, of she course, not hanging course, out with of Kim course. Kardashian. True, true, true. So, so we ain't sent her videos true. in the group chat. <laughs> And we that, saw, that, that like, and we saw this though. earlier, like, <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> just, just to reiterate something that May said, we saw this early on. Uh, Ice Spice has been on this energy from early on, right? Mm-hmm. When, when, uh, what, what was it? She, she had a, she was gonna do a show for like four thousand dollars, and then she blew up. The song blew up much, and then she was like, "All right, I'm pulling out of that show. I'm not even doing that." Thirteen, real talk. Fuck out of here. You know what I mean? So, so I, I see where you coming from, but I think in theory, Glorilla is the type of artist that. Double XL wants to be on there because she is in her freshman year. A lot of folks just turn it down. You know what I mean? They labels mm-hmm. tell them to turn it down. So I like Glorilla's like the highlight of the list. Ex- exactly. You know what I mean? So shouts to her. Now Friday, I know you heard she heard him on not, God Did. She's not like mm-hmm. uh, 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 colorism. You mm-hmm. said what? She's not light skinned like Ice Spice. So. It's a whole other I mean, topic though. I'm not trying to. Nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Nah, let me. Sin let me check. Not, so I've had too many of these. Take it easy, Sin. Get out of there. Get out of there. No, I mean, Sin got to let him know the real. I'm gonna turn the whole conversation into something. Listen, man. Leah and about to go crazy. Oh, I, like, I like I like little Tyler a little bit too. I ain't little Tyler with the Lord Norton like, sample, like, bro. Like that was Tyler. that was going crazy go. this year, bro. That, that too, shit, fat too bands rare. or some shit like that. Too rare out of Philly. He's the one who really cultivated that wanna rock sound that Uzi is running off with. There's a lot of New York niggas running with it too. That's like the new club sound on the East Coast. Uzi did and big too with that rare right. is the nigga that started that shit. Central C out of the UK. He been going crazy. He got the EP with Dave, the collaborative joint he just dropped. Was that got the, multiple hits. Is that the dude that just got a deal? I heard That's like the um Billy Eilish nigga, man. 
It was like some. It's the white dude, right? Yeah. They said it's a white dude that just scored a twenty-five million dollars deal with Columbia. Was that him? I don't know if he did, but I'm just saying he been going up though. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if you tap there, he going up. Real Boston Richie got those. You know, shouts to him. 1090 Jake. He got them snitch allegations. But the youngins don't yeah. care about that. You know what I mean? Tia Corinne, really the joint. She got the freaky T joint where she using the the um the flow. What's old boy from Three Six? Paul. Nah, oh, not oh, Paul. Oh, oh, oh. I'm doing the glasses. Um. Always fuck my son's name up. Sipping on some syrup. The um, why is it? Y'all know who oh, it wait, is. Oh wait, I know the name. Dark skin, slim. Now he got locks. We looking super <laughs> New York right Man's now. Man, to make her dance, that nigga. Nah, that's that's uh Juicy J, nigga who was on Knife Talk with Drake. Spit on some sister. Project Pat. Project Pat. She was in uh, the Project Pat flow copy, on Freaky copy. T. That shit been going crazy this Copy. summer you know what i mean lotto jumped on the fucking remix so i'm saying like shout out to these, lotto this is I, I feel thing. like shout more than her. they got street rappers they got melody motherfuckers they got you know pop rappers i think they i think they did pretty good with the list this year man Dini, you got you, you like lotto she has moments there's moments capitalizing on a lot of records that's already hits but she has moments yo speaking of which uh this, this is not on the docket uh but coyla ray dropped today Coyle I Ray's like Coyle Ray, bro. I'm not. Can yeah. I say something? I went to my Apple Music, you know what I mean, and I was looking for new releases because I was getting together my um my young rap segment. I wanted to see if I missed anything, mm-hmm. and I noticed that you know you know I noticed that Coyle Ray dropped, but you know when you follow somebody, they let you know who listened, and you know Sin's face was right next to the Coyle Ray album when I was Whoa. on my Apple Music, bro. I you waited. got some splendid to look. I waited for the pod to the, drop that. Talk about it, man. <laughs> That's the end of the show, everyone. Ah, you got some splendid. Round, round, round Koi, table. I said, what is happening to Koi today? Talk stop. about all the Koi got records, bro. First day drops, so sin. How was that Koi Murray out, bro? Was it fire, sin? Cut the mics, Walter. Cut <laughs> the mics. Was it fire? <laughs> cut the mics. Don't cut nothing, Walt. Was it fire? <laughs> was it the best debut in a decade? It was a nah. big per part two. The 90s was, was Nas. The 2000s was Kenny. It's the 2020s. Coy Lorenz. Coy. Coy. Don't uh, be Coy, man. Coy. Nah. Um, all right. I'm, I'm going to tell you how this happened. Uh, I, I, I went to Twitter real quick. Uh, it was a very busy day, but I still took my breaks. Um, took my little Twitter break. I saw somebody uh, tweet something about the Coyle Ray album and uh, their rating. I'm not going to put the rating out there. I think but, it was one out of ten. Yeah. I saw that tweet. Damn. I saw that tweet. Nasty. I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it. was nasty like that. It was like 1.5 <laughs> out of ten. But not, what, one of the things he said was uh, that like almost the whole album is just like notable samples, like samples that everybody oh, knows. You know what I mean? Right. And so that that actually got me curious. You know what I mean? As a producer, as a sample head. Uh, you know, what what does this sound like? So I went and, and, and listened to it. And sure enough, he was he was right. I only got to about like halfway through it. I, I didn't listen to the whole song. I just like skipped through it. Um but yeah it was a it was a lot of a lot of like, you know, um it you know it's it's my body and the, you know, do what I want to um, there was a what was the other one? The other big one. Catch I another forget. flight is on that. Uh, catch another flight is that on that album? Um, I'm Apple make them on the back. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I, don't I know. did. I, I did. I did not. Or girls store, I did not store with, it to with memory the, with the Easy E sample and WA drum. You know yeah. what? I, you know what I read is that you know because that was what everybody was saying. I read the the same thing that Sim read about all of the samples on the album and how you know there's no way that Koi is getting. Uh, paid off of this album but you know who is getting paid off the album is umg because all of the samples that they use umg already owns owns. yeah Yeah. so they're paying themselves for this album Uh. out of coyla ray's budget wow umg y'all are slick man i can i get a job where's the application i guess she's trying to buy some resonation man now now listen man i ain't gonna lie you can put the cup down. Yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. We already we already done done cooked up the the the, the young rap segment. So now you, you <laughs> I think it's time to head uptown, Dane. 
Mm. So when we going uptown, man, we no, nah, hold on, hold on, hold oh, on. Oh no, cooks, my fault. Nah, nah, we not yet, not yet, sure, not yet, man. We got. I go wanted, I wanted to go. Yes, well, we got to dig in the mailbag first. Oh, oh shit, there's a couple of messages mailbag. in the mailbag. No, it wasn't Jobs. Jobs not hitting his favorite segment. I didn't know how he was going. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I mean. But we got to, we got to enjoy this. Sorry for Jobs. Sorry, bro. We still going. Yeah, brought the knapsack. Answer it at home to yourself, Jobs. A couple messages in there. You know what I mean. So we got to dig in the mailbag real quick. Let's So yeah. I pulled, I pulled a couple of uh, comments from some of our uh, most recent uh, output on, on YouTube. Okay. All right. Uh, the first one, and I, <laughs> I'm going to go to Dini for this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 3000 is a good outcast member. This is from uh, Mr. Alfonso Howard 5175. Right. Shout out to you two for putting the, the like the whole at tag now. On, Absolutely, on yes, sir. So uh, at, at yeah at Mr. Alfonso Howard five one seven five. He says uh, three thousand is a good outcast member. He doesn't want to be a part of hip hop or rap. Mm. Please stop with the praise for the person that can't and don't or doesn't want to make hip hop or rap music. Dini, what you say there? Salute to that brother, man. This man does not want to make rap music, y'all. He wants to play flutes in the streets of Japan. So what? <laughs> so what's the problem with that? Which is nothing is wrong with that. But you just know, <laughs> not that there's just anything know, wrong with that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Just know, in certain rap annals, you may get a little oven roasted, bro. Like that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like when we having conversations about the best duos, you know, we can include you. But the solo discography just ain't there when it comes to rapping, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like you are a legend in and of your own right. Salute, but we need that, bro. We don't have. We, it's not definitive. You know what I'm saying? We got, like I said, we got. Hey, yeah, bro. When we were supposed to get real rap shit. Nah. So he's on that type of time. Salute that, brother. Dang, Just I thought so, it was against the rules to to use your burner to write your own mail, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this was you, bro? That was not me. <laughs> sure? It was not me, but he's let, on my type of town. Let, let's spin back around real quick, though, to a conversation we had earlier. Mm -hmm. How how connected to the streets do you feel Andre 3000 is, and do you think that hurts Good him? Good shit, and, and Connected? Good shit. Like, because we all saw, you know, we... Kind of the way, like, homeless people are connected to the streets, bro. <laughs> bro like, you know what I'm saying? What? Cut, like, bro, cut his mic, Like, bro. what, like... <laughs> Like what? Like he's outside, but he's, he's not in the place he need to be, Yo bro. Boy, what? <laughs> like you know, like homeless niggas is outside, but they like they have no choice. But to be, you know what I'm saying? They call Andre a vagrant, bro. Like, bro, he moved like that, don't he? Not though. Nigga, why? A vagabond. Like, he moved like that, bro. <laughs> He moved like he like he worked. By What's choice, my nickname? Remember though, the Bowery like, King? You think, yo, you really think he's not rich? That, you think he's not rich? No, the Bowery King and John Wick. How niggas live on the ground and do all that extra shit. He strikes me as that type of nigga. One of them pretend to be homeless niggas, bro. He Yo, just, he just strike, he man. just got that energy, bro. Damn you, Eric Obadu. Like he's like ten million dollars in the still thrifts type nigga. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie that. though. I gotta keep it a buck. Every time uh, somebody takes a video of him in the streets with the flute, he always got the same outfit on too. Bro, the overalls. He's like Peter with, Griffin, bro. With the only, <laughs> only two niggas keep their clothes on that long. Homeless niggas and niggas that sell Yo, crack. That's the I can't, I can't believe I his, black, his black cement Jordan threes have looked this good for this. Long because they don't look worn out, but he every time you see him, he's got those joints on. fresh, bro. Ain't gonna lie. He's fresh. rich, bro. Ain't he, ain't he's not lie. worried about you know what it is. He's completely separate from shit that like people like base regular life on, bro. Like right. once you've had enough money, once you've seen enough shit, he's, like you know how the game is played. Like that shit probably don't move him he, no more. He's he's the epitome of off the radar. You know what I mean? But that that off shit still grid, counts as far right. as hip hop. Off the, off the grid, that's what I meant. But that, you, that's the beautiful part of hip hop because there's still people that want rap music from him. But and that that in and of itself you know I mean? is. A, is a I, I kind I mean on a certain level I kind of respect the off the grid shit, man. Uh, sometimes a lot all of this is just like too much. For me, man. Stop like, being a lot of shit, man. Go, going off the grid for like a month or something. Niggas been in hip hop for like thirty years, bro. So, um, all right. Uh, the next one uh, in the mailbag, Nas. Uh, this is from. I'm so focused, 4678. He says, Nas ain't mainstream or commercial like he used to be in the 90s and 2000s. His songs aren't getting played on the radio uh, like they used to be. I would say that there's that he's more active than he's ever been as far as albums and features, though. This is from the conversation that we had in uh, the last episode, the last full episode 
where we talked about whether Nas was too mainstream now or not. Right? Uh, I'm going to go to Mace for this one. What you think? Um, 7-3, go check that out. We had a good talk on that. Like, I think that, listen, man, I don't think you can, once you're mainstream, I don't think you can't be mainstream anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, the folks know you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get, you know, you, you know, William Shatner, you know, wasn't popping after Star Trek, but everybody knew who the fuck he was. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't think that, listen, Nas is a superstar until, you know, <laughs> rap is over, my nigga. Everybody, like, 90% of people who know rap know who Nas is. That's superstar. So, nigga. so you think what? once you get the stamp, you can't, you can't, you can't it take it off? Away, man. It's it a tattoo. You know what I mean? Drake is not going to sell records one day. Is he not yeah. a superstar? You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 50 Cent don't sell no records. You feel me? Like everybody know who he is. But, but when he said man? when he said not like he used to, I'm like, yo, what hip hop artists is selling like in their fifties when they did in their thirties? Right. You know what I'm saying? So you it's know not what I'm really... saying? Yeah. Mick Jagger is a superstar. Again, like, bro. I, I think I, I think a lot of uh, the the fan base uh, kind of bends over backwards and tries to twist narratives into pretzels in a way to make it seem like Nas is some type of. You know, underground vagabond. Hero, <laughs> you know what I mean? That nigga's a oh, man, legend and a half. Popping and he been, bro. One, like, yeah, what's wrong once, with that? I mean, one, one, once, once you mainstream, once you, you know, you well, stay you that. Can't, you can't do the garden and not be mainstream, dog. Like, there's no underground right. niggas doing the garden, bro. It's not. Bro. Come on, man. We Nas gotta stop this. Movies, Nas is a whole bro. fucking legend. Yeah, a, if a you saw the, the garden, you're mainstream. Law. That's like, it. Like, stop, bro. Like, that's all it is. Uh, last one in the mailbag. Uh, it's getting embarrassing now for Jim Jones. This is now, you know, going back to the, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the most recent Yikes. Pusha T, Jim Jones conversation. You know what I mean? Uh, it's getting embarrassing now. Uh, Jim tried to spa with someone not in his weight class. Uh, heard he called Mayno to decide for the jabs. Yeah. It, clearly, that was a joke. <laughs> he put the laughing emoji, the laughing tear face emoji. Uh, what is Mayno going to do? I didn't think... It could get worse for Dipset after the Garden thrashing. Mm. I was wrong. This is from mm. Yikes. Haitian Juice. Pause. Twenty three ninety. <laughs> Hold on. Haitian Juice. That's twenty three ninety. Egregious. Please. Um, <laughs> Dini, what you think? Um. We all right. You remember how back in the days, you know, you had that dude who was immaculate with the jokes. And he just would just cut ass left and right and everybody fit. And then you just had that one dude that just be like, yo, you fucking ugly, B. And he, he wasn't like the most <laughs> hilarious nigga, but it just was so vocal. The to conviction. Me that, there you go. Right. I mean, that's what put, that's what Jim Jones has right now, the conviction. Can he spar lyrically with, with Pusha? No way in hell. But he does have the you ugly aspect. He going to use that. He going to go into this shit and be like, ha, ah, ah. ha. I mean, you got to remember, Jim Jones was a part of like a, a beautiful... A beautiful movement that happened in the city, man. We're not gonna discount the dips, bro. Even though they got cooked on the on, the on the on the verses and all You're that, not. we're not gonna discount that run, bro. Like that run was immaculate. They had the city within their palm. So I don't know if Push ever had like the city in his palm. We Dip just always res- we just always respected the nigga for being a legendary artist, making great music, and having being a part of a dope duo. But Jimmy is gonna use the the fuck nigga aspect of it all and yeah. turn it into a big like. A big like cat fetch, you know what I'm saying? Jimmy, he know he can't win that way, but he gonna win the way he know how to win. He gonna go he Harlem. Two different ways. He gonna go Harlem style. Macy, you wanna jump in on that? Uh, no, man. Uh, I did it, right. did it. You know, Didi's a flawless victory, man. You got any more mailbag for us? No, nah, that's it. That's the last one. Ah, right, so now it's time, man. Uptown, nigga. Now it's time. I, 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 I think I just set the GPS to Uptown. Set it, Mace. I told Dini to get in the front seat. We drove off. I looked in the back and Job wasn't in that motherfucker. Sorry, Job. I get I come back later, man. You <laughs> we'll know what I mean? Spin back we'll spin back we for you, gonna brother. spin back, Job 175. We'll spin back for you. So I'm driving uptown. You know what I mean? It's the first day of summer, but it's cold. Uh, the mommies ain't got poom poom shorts, so they got on Nike tanks. Yo, that was so tragic, bro. First day of summer. Yeah. You feel me? So the mommies got on Nike Techs. You know what I mean? They got their hair wrapped up. Uggs. We 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 trying to party, but but it's too goddamn cold. It's, seven, it's 68 degrees in the summer So I, we heading up to Sin's house And I, I think Sin wants to do one thing It's too goddamn cold <laughs> <laughs> So what's the vibe I'm not coming Sin? outside <laughs> And y'all on my lawn right now <laughs> Trying to tell me come outside It's too cold bro It's really? not summer It's not really summer Risky. Get off my lawn Holler at me tomorrow Holler at me next week 
Sometimes when it's warmer. Yes, Sometimes sir. when the ladies got a little bit of skin showing or something, you know what I mean? A little poom poom Get off that snorkel. Little, 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 little spaghetti strap, little sundress, something. Sun <laughs> but not today. You got to get off my lawn. Yes, sir. Now, specifically, who has to get off my lawn? And I'm sorry, brother. Uh-oh. If this includes you. Uh-oh. Apparently, based on uh, the, the, the last take that you gave. I'm hurt. Jim Jones fans got to get off my lawn, bro. <laughs> Jim Jones fans are fucking delusional right Jimmy. now. I don't give a fuck what oh, kind shit. of run Dipset had. He was like the, what, third, fourth man? Third. Dipset? Third. 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 Still legendary, it though. It doesn't matter, man. Cam, Cam and Jewel's, uh, they was running shit. Uh, J- Jimmy had, you know, his hits here and there. You know what I mean? Bowling is an undeniable hit. It's not enough. It's huh. good, but it's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so th- this is stemming specifically from one tweet. Now, I've seen uh, several, a number, <laughs> a, a, a cornucopia, if you will, Aha. of tweets spattered amongst Twitter um, defending Jim Jones, not even defending Jim Jones, but like, like caping for Jim Jones, basically, in this whole Pusha T fiasco. Um, this one is specifically, uh, this one is, uh, specifically caught my eye, though. Uh, he said, Jim Jones, and I'm not going to shout his name out, you know what I mean? Uh, but Jim Jones, first of all, no, 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 the first statement, the first line he said was, Jim Jones better than Pusha T. Better than <laughs> wow. Pusha T. Wow. That was the what? first line. Then he goes on to say, (laughs) Jim Jones shifted the culture several times. Mm. Jim Jones shifted the culture. Now, Dini, Mm. as as somebody that just came to Jim Jones' defense, can you say that Jim Jones has shifted the culture? Shifted the culture's heavy. It's a strong it's made a strong it term. made it cool for the for the older statesmen to like get back into the game. Definitely did that. Okay. And Jim Jim is not no spring chicken. Jim nice. is up there in age. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's still doing his thing. Scruffy beard and all that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dusty braids and all that. <laughs> Shout out to Jimmy. You know what I mean? So <laughs> shifted the culture is crazy. It's excessive. Bro. Like you got like three or four capes on. Um, he says he he goes on to say a lot of your favorite execs, fashion designers, and artists came out of that dipset camp. He finishes by saying, "I deal only in facts, and this ain't even a clout move because Jim Jones actually has me blocked. So Jim Jones ain't wow. even fucking Jim with you Jones. like that. <laughs> Apparently, you said something that was maybe maybe he was dick riding too hard." <laughs> That part was And not Jim Jones to add, had to bro. call you out and be like, nah, you too much of a dick rider, bro. Get the fuck Damn. out of here, man. We got to block you. But I don't know what, you, yo, I don't know how many Jim Jones capes you got on. You got like five of them shits on. <laughs> but to bro and anybody else on Twitter and out there in uh, internet land that's that's doing this and putting all these capes on for Jim Jones, let you cannot say that you deal in facts. Saying Jim Jones is better than Pusha T is not facts, bro. Pusha T is going to wrap circles around Jim Jones. He's also like he's just more he's more petty. His his bars are more potent. There is nothing Jim Jones can do in this situation to come out victorious and put himself above Pusha T. His best bet is just to like lay low, let the shit die out, stop going on social media, key keying and, and and laughing at the shit. Looking mad nervous. Pusha T got this. He's cornered you. you checkmate. Get the fuck off my lawn. One more thing. Uh, you want to talk about fashion designers. This man Pusha T dropped a diss track at the Louis Vuitton fashion show in Paris. Do you understand? Do you understand the mind on this man? To say to himself, I am at this level where I can create a soundtrack for the Louis Vuitton fashion show in Paris. I'm gonna drop a diss track to this peon. You know, like, <laughs> bro, stop, don't fuck with that man, bro. Leave him alone. Single it is. Leave him alone. 
All, all, all you, you motherfuckers, keep it for Jim Jones out there, delusional as fuck. Get the fuck off my lawn. Hold on, your, your, Harlem, get, your Harlem allegiance we, doesn't make you some. No, man, no. <laughs> so you ain't all. got to get off my lawn. You ain't got it in there, bro. What happened? What happened? You got to get off. Get the Please. Oh shit! No, he didn't send it to me, bro. <laughs> so oh, sin. So sin. You gonna have to tell us to get off your lawn. Cause we gonna I'll do the best I can, sin. <laughs> so wait, 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 wait. Did he? Did he? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please. Uh, Please. Shit, 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 shit. Get off my lawn. Oh, there it is. It there is. We go. Send it. Cook. Hold Cook. on. Hold on. Get off my lawn. Yeah. yeah for the right. win. So you know what that means. We, we got to give my man on. the layout he needs. Now, if your favorite rapper only started learning <laughs> how to rap after 40 years old, please. Get off my yeah, lawn. Hit him. Hit him, dude. If you think just because Jim Jones is a part of the thug faction that he won't get his boots smoked by a nigga that writes fucking rhymes for breakfast. Please. Get off my lawn. <laughs> if your favorite rapper is trying to battle a nigga who gets his braids done better than his, please. Get off my lawn. Give me one more thing. Give me one more. <laughs> God damn. If you need to call 75 other niggas to handle this one individual. <laughs> Please. Oh, uh, JR Wright is not saving you. Mayo, Mayo uh, not saving you. Max B ain't yo, getting out of jail, Cam, nigga. How, how, yo, Cam how, busy. Cam, Cam ain't even chime in. Cam with Mace. Mace the new Jim Joe. Joel, Joel's got a whole little shit he yo, doing. He dealing Cam with Cam is so. like, you on your oh, own, <laughs> bro. You dug yourself into this hole. I wasn't you trying to go there, though. Out. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I wasn't here. trying to go there. <laughs> yo. Get up. One more. One more. One more for the culture, man. Get off my lawn. Dini, take us home, bro. If you think all for Chikufi gonna work with this one. Get off my lawn. (laughs) Yo. Salute to my guy, Jarv. He couldn't be here tonight, but he's always with us. You know the fucking vibes, my brother. Shout out to May Cito, voice of the industry, a.k.a. the investigative wing of the rap round table. Yes, sir. This is the nigga from Take, and nigga said, I have a certain skin of sales. I will find you. <laughs> Yo, shout out to fucking Sincere, the technician, man. This is the rap snob. You hear the production. Every fucking beat you hear here, this producer. man does it. Tap in, y'all. I know y'all niggas always ask, yo, who makes the beats for the pod? It's him. He is I. I am him. I am Dini, the bounce of the force. Shout out to my nigga Walt holding us down. You know the fucking yes, vibe, sir. Super Producer Walt. Yo, we the rap round table. We fucking out of here, man. You know the vibes. Boom. The heroes you need.